A year or two ago, there was nothing here. Philip partially grew up boating on Vancouver Lake, but it was just three years ago that he realized something was wrong. This is one of the worst spots. An invasive aquatic weed called milfoil had started spreading in the lake. Today, it covers close to a quarter of it. It's encroaching on the entire lake. The problem, the weed is extremely difficult to get rid of. It can choke out natural vegetation and fish habitat and makes rowing, boating, even swimming dangerous. Because it'll be so thick that um, people get tangled up in it. In fact, as partially was taking us out onto the lake to show us how bad the milfoil problem was. It just collects on the motor and gets wound around the prop. The weed jammed our boat's motor. A huge amount of weeds. You can see just how thick this stuff is. We're in the northeast part of the lake and it feels like we're just surrounded by this stuff. To give you an idea of just how fast this weed spreads, this time last year, this area was weed free. The projection was two to three years and the, the lake will be entirely unusable for boating and dangerous for swimming. However, the state of Washington recently approved a permit allowing the Friends of Vancouver Lake to use a reduced risk herbicide to get rid of the milfoil. A lot of the other herbicides that have been used before are, are toxic. So it's not good for fish, wildlife, people, but Priscillacor is actually safe for humans, fish, wildlife. My gut reaction is that's just a Band-Aid. And while some, like Paddler Corky Lie, worry an herbicide may not be the right answer. I think the solution is to open up the viaduct, dig it out, and get some more seawater in here and let this, let this circulate um, and, and, you know, have a natural solution to it. Friends of Vancouver Lake say it is the only way they have to save the lake now so those more natural solutions can be implemented in the future. It would be a shame to have this resource go away simply because we didn't respect it and care for it. Now the group Friends of Vancouver Lake was able to raise the roughly $200,000 it will take to treat the lake through grants and donations. That treatment is scheduled to take place in the middle of next month. Back to you.